Okay, this is uh, how you run the discharger. Uh, all the parts have been taken apart so that you can see how to just put it back together again and run it as discharge mode. All right, uh, basically we've got the discharger right here. I've opened up the lid so you can see the internals. Uh, the eye charger is right there. I've built one of these so that it can use with a balance board, which I think is a great idea to build. All these plugs, they randomly come with lipos when you buy them. So instead of throwing them away, just stick them on. You'll never know what you'll use it for. This are uh, adapters for that to XT150, which is what I use for the high-powered uh, 6S for 12S configs. Um, this over here is optional. If you want to run uh, the quantum to uh, monitor your discharging, then yep, put it in. I'm going to show you that uh, how we hook it up uh, all together so that it's a pretty complete view of how to run this setup. So the first thing you do is, as you would, like you would charge anything, just hook in your adapters. Here's one cell. <coughs> Here's a second one. Just to show you that it's absolutely fine running these in parallel um, uh, over here. So put it in, put this in. There you go. This whole thing now powers this board. And this board is energized for 6S. What you do is plug in this, and your eye charger should come alive. Positive, negative. There you go. Eye charger is up and running. Then you plug this in to your discharger and it should be off if it's on for any reason now let me show you how to run this uh, to make it uh, so that you can monitor with the quantum you take these out and basically plug it in here instead so just put it in you should have a secondary adapter somewhere like that plug this into the current drive so that you can monitor the current as well you don't have to but if you want to monitor the currents that's going through, you do this, and then this goes in here. Then you swing this around to one of the plugs, uh, to the balance plug, so that you can run the transmitter itself. And there you go. You have a monitoring solution. Turn this on. And there you go. You've got everything. So I'll put this here. You may want to run the temperature probe to your lipos or to the discharger at the hottest bit, but in this case I will, but you can if you want. So what to do next? Yep, as you can see this is on. All I need to do is plug in the fans. Just need a power supply for that. Like that. The fans are on. You can see the foam cut drive here is at 20 amps. 24 volts, it's not going to run that, it's uh, 350 watt capable, so maybe 20 volt and about 17 amps is about the most it will put up. And all you need to do is set it at that, uh, you know absolutely sure it's going to be 350 watt max. Uh, you don't have to care about what current or voltage it's going to be pulling in through the discharger, because if you, as long as your LiPo's you think can run 350 watts, which most 2S, 3S LiPo's beyond 1000 mile will do it. Uh, and that's it. So all you need to do is start up here, press start, and then you can see this thing slowly ramps up. There you go. Uh, I like to leave it closed because that way all the air goes right through it. And that's it. It's as simple as sitting and monitoring your cells, uh, going outside, having a drink, whatever you want, and then when you think it's low enough, if you want it 3.85, wait till it drops to 3.82 and when you stop it it should jump back up to uh, storage voltage that's it